Hi, and welcome to Mexilex. We're here in Tijuana in the studio of none other than Enrique Chu, who is the uh, muralist, artist, and creator of the Mural de la Hermandad, you know, the Mural of uh, Brotherhood, which is now heading towards a Guinness World Record for the biggest mural uh, in the world. Um, Enrique, how was this project born? How, was this, how did this come about, the Mural of Brotherhood? Well, there's, I'm like a, a, another artist on the border, you know, yeah. I just try to, to see or to, to make something happen uh, right. after, after you see everything, everything is happening here about the immigration, about the people who have been deported, about, uh, you know, the, the binational or bicultural uh, life, what, what the people who has here. Uh, have here. Right. Uh, well, I'm, you know, I'm have uh, I have ten years here in Tijuana, and I'm just trying to do something uh, with the with the community. I try to get involved the art with the community, and try to do something with everybody, with all the artists, the community, the uh, families. Uh, what I know, the the nonprofit associations I, I met before, you know, like Border Angels, who uh, Border Angels, the, right. the association who uh, bring water to the desert for the people who cross it, the right. border, you know. Or the River Moms Association, right. has a, the, the uh, moms supported lives here in Tijuana, and they have their family on the other side. You know, I met them, and I and, and I see what, what is their feeling about the border, and and I just try to to be part of that. I'm like uh, another immigrant in Tijuana. You know, I was living like 12 years in in the United States, and I always say like I know what is the American the American dream. Yeah. Uh, to live there, I have my my family there. I had a, I had a, my business, my my association, my uh, gallery there, yeah. and then I moved to Tijuana to do kind of the same thing, bring the culture, what I and what I know, and and I see all the people who get involved with me and, and tell me about, hey, let's do something different, let's see how the the city grow up and do something better, and I say you know what this is the, the time and let's do something bigger in some place and I was looking for a place to do something bigger yeah. and I saw that the, the, the border wall, you know, wasn't a, 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 I don't know, was all rusty, ugly wall, you know, like all bad and I said, you know what, this is the, the time to do something here. Yeah. And uh, by that time, uh, 2016 was the uh, uh, elections in the United States, so, you know, the elected uh, president by the time it was uh, saying a lot of things about the border, right. like he's gonna do some another wall and and you know the border wall and Mexicans gonna do the border wall and blah blah. And I say, I think we have to use that place. We have to do. We have to use that wall. We have to make a, a something big in that because a, a lot of people is watching the wall. So let's make something Now's positive. Yeah. Let's do something positive there. Let's paint it, uh, you know, I don't know, like maybe like paint like a sky blue to, to raise the wall, like, right. you know, and just colors and by families, the community, let's do something. Uh, I would say like, um, uh, that's, that was, uh, I think my time to, to create something positive for the people what I know, uh, what I met here in Tijuana. And just, I, I don't know, I can say like uh, was something, um, was the, uh, the right time to do it. Okay. And, uh, all I and it took I, off. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I met, like I told you, those the non-profit associations mm -hmm. that work in the border, and then I, I met uh, some people who came from IT, from uh, Egypt, from uh, people who've been deported. And I said, you know what, I'm like that guy, you know, I'm trying to do something in Tijuana, let's do something positive here. So I invited them. It's fascinating that something like a wall, which symbolically means division, it means keeping people out as an element of, of hatred, of even of, of racism, of exclusion, is being turned into a tableau for art. It's like this giant act of sublimation, isn't it? Yes, well, the thing is, for like an artist, mm -hmm. it's a wall, it's a, it's a clean wall, you know, to yeah. do something. Right. Uh, uh, beautiful, you know, mm -hmm. and I always say like uh, I did a lot. <laughs> I did. They didn't stop me because I did a lot of maintenance to the wall yeah. and it's USA wall, you know. So uh, I said, let's do something beautiful with all the people. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, and, and and I invited families who they don't know how to paint, but they mm -hmm. want to support the project. They went just to put some color, and you you can see kids seven, eight, nine years old just painting or having fun, you know, painting, and you know, and their families 
who uh, know of, have their, their other families live in the United States. They live in some messages, you know, like yeah. the people who was there and, and being deported. And he, a, a guy is like, oh my, he means uh, his family and he put the, the name of the, his daughters or his, mm. you know, kids in the wall. So that's uh, emotional, that's something like a lot of people wants to do it. And why not? If it's a wall, let's use it, let's you use know? It. So we erase it in different colors and use it like a, like artistic canvas. I was going to ask, you've involved a lot of people from the community, uh, like you've mentioned, including migrants yes. themselves, people who maybe crossed, who suffered, who have lost family members, uh, who have maybe been through instances of racism, of exclusion, of oppression, uh, what is their process of, of, of going back and facing that wall and painting on it? Well, you know, for some people I met in, the, in the, those uh, uh, shelters, you can yeah. say that, uh, they, they use, they have the hope to, to back, you know? To go I, back, met it, yeah. I met them and I said, like, hey, you, want, you guys want to paint the border wall? And they're like, yeah, why not, why yeah. not, you know, let's put something, you know? Uh, and I say it has to be something positive, okay. and they put some hope. They put like hope, esperanza, mm -hmm. you know, something big. They put a, a some of, some some of them. They don't know how to paint, but they want yeah. to be part of that. So they use help us to cover, to put the background color sure. solid. Mm -hmm. You know, some of them they were from Egypt, from from Haiti, uh, from uh, uh, Jordania, from uh, uh, Italy. Uh, they just want to show up. I, I met people from German from, from Germany, Germany and they 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 say, you know what, for us this wall, like our wall, you know, in Berlin, they we we throw we throw it down, yeah, we drop it, it we down. drop the yeah. wall, you know. So I hope we can do the same, same thing, thing here, yeah. you know. People from Cuba I know they feeling for for United States there is different even from Cuba. They I remember now I, I just got the the memory right now. A guy came from uh, from Cuba, an artist, and he's like, "Hey, let me use the ladder and you take a picture on, on all the way on top." So he put the ladder. He went all the way up, you know, and he's like, "Hey, you know, yeah. like that, Fuck like it, yeah. you know." <laughs> yeah. and, and he put, you know, God, God, God is with us, you yeah. know. He put that. Dios es con nosotros. Está con nosotros. And on this side, mm -hmm. and you know, that's that's different feelings. And mm -hmm. you can see all the immigrants, the people who been deported. I met them when they were sleeping next to the wall, and you know, into the grass or behind the tree or something. They were sleeping there, just waiting for the night to cross the border, you know, mm -hmm. to jump. And some of them, I, I remember, they, they asked me to use my ladder, use like, hey, ladder. Let me use the ladder, <laughs> quick, I said, quick, you know, because I need it, and something like that, and. and you can see a lot of feelings, a lot of stories about them. Uh, I tell them about on this side they can live too. You know, it's, yeah. we have dreams on this side too. So yeah. I'm just trying yeah. to to get involved with them in the in the in the right way. You know, like you cannot change their mind. You cannot stop mm -hmm. them. Uh, what they have in mind to cross to continue living there because some of them. They have lived in there for like 20 years and they mm -hmm. have like three months here after the por deportation, you know, and they, for sure, you know, they want to pro cross back. Sure. And uh, I met them, they are, they are veterans deported, uh, uh, what call them, veterans, soldiers yeah, from veterans. the US. Mm -hmm. they, they live here in Tijuana and they still fighting for their rights, mm -hmm. you know, because they went to I Iraq, went to Iraq Afghanistan. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, they tried to get back and I met them and you know they're like they have, they still have the hope to cross back you know or to get their sure. their, their papers work. Now you have said that this isn't an overtly political uh, project. Yes. There isn't a political line. There isn't a political philosophy. The idea is to unify people. Um, but the international press has interpreted it as a very political project. So how have you dealt with uh, this idea that? You're involved in a political project or provocation, or you know, you're challenging Trump, or you know. <laughs> well, the thing is, we cannot change, the, you know, yeah. any uh, reporter or any media, yeah. press. They can write whatever they want. Yeah. You know, you cannot change that. They, yeah. I just got interview, and sometimes they do whatever they want. You know, right. but uh, I always try to don't. Don't talk about or don't say anything about the president or don't say anything yeah. political 
uh, because I really want the support of everyone, you know, for everybody. To and you see don't need positive. to talk about the president. The project no. speaks for itself. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, I mean, a lot of people say like, hey, it's a Donald Trump's or oh, it's a uh, United States property, you know. And I asked for a permit to do it. I asked the, the immigration. I sent a letter to Obama, to Washington. I didn't get the answer, uh -huh. but I think it's for the, the immigration department here. They they uh -huh. uh, they told me you can do it. Yeah. You can use paint, but you use paint on your side, Mexican yeah. side. Mexican side. And I said. That time and say like, that's the time what we need. We we'll, we'll really need to paint because it's not our wall. We don't need yeah. to. We don't need to see the wall. You know, that's another symbolic right. way to say. But uh, I, I, what I always ask to the people to come over and paint with me is because it has to be something positive, not political, no against nobody. You know, nobody is like uh, we try to do something positive. We, it's just a family, uh, community, social, cultural message to the world. Now, what's the aesthetic experience of painting on a wall? I mean, it's a wall. It's not a canvas. It's not a wooden surface. It's not a smooth surface. <laughs> what is that actual experience of painting on that wall? And has that changed the kind of art you produce there? Well, the thing is, for, yeah. for, for us, it's like a challenge. Yeah. Uh, because in some... some Places like the, the the wall go all the way to the beach. It's, yeah. it's like a bar. So it's like a rom, rumble. Yeah. It's like a squares, and you have to paint. Maybe you, sometimes if you know how to paint, you can do both sides. Like you can see yeah. one image one side, and when you're back, you can see another image. Yeah, you amazing. can you can play with that. Uh, also, by the beach uh, side, we used um, uh, oil paint. Mm -hmm. Let that get long, you know, stay longer yeah. because it's oh, the the water, the salt. The uh, you know yeah. the weather there it wears away. Yeah, the, painting, the yeah. paints go off, and the and next next part uh -huh. you will see the uh, the uh, the wall is like a metal, like all with figures. How you call it, like a texture? Right. So you cannot you cannot paint a really flat image. You cannot do um, you you. It's a challenge to do for other artists. Uh, for people who doesn't know how to paint, they just try to core wherever they can. I use sometimes. Uh, a spray yeah, or, uh, or like airbrush mm -hmm. and also I paint with, with brush but uh, this is a challenge to paint you will see it if, if you see next time you will see it's, it's a really a challenge for a lot of people now in a historical perspective muralism in Mexico really took off in the 30s with this nationalist project the idea of creating really a Mexican school of painting that wasn't just importing influences from Europe but that was creating something indigenously Mexican something really Mexican yeah. The great masters, uh, Rivera and Orozco and Siqueiros and all of them, uh, were also painting in public spaces and also had sometimes an overt political message, sometimes not. Do you consider that this project is following in the tradition of the of the muralists? Yeah, I can say like uh, yeah. how you like a uh, like an, uh, contemporary artist now, like any artist on this time. Uh, of course, you know we follow the 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 rules, the 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 message of our great masters of muralists mm -hmm. in Mexico, like Siqueiros or Diego Rivera. I'm a fan of uh, one of the masters, Clemente Orozco. Sure. You know, I'm from Guadalajara, and I remember when I was a kid, was like six, seven, seven, eight years old, after school, you know, we went to uh, Cabañas mm -hmm. and we see the biggest mural there so I was like oh, fascinated about the, the artwork there you know like you see the, the men on fire or the Hidalgo you know in the uh, in the city hall of course you can get that idea to do something bigger and here we try to do I mean like every every artist now in this time we follow those we we, we saw it before we grew up with those uh, idea about the folkloric cultural traditional uh, painting and it's not just in the Mexican uh, art. I mean, all the muralists really born in Mexico to the world. To the world. So it's of, of course we have the idea, we have the feeling, we have that part. And I can tell, I can how I told you, I born with that. So of course I just try to get involved with all my folkloric, traditional yeah. culture. I would say something about the Mexican side, you know, about the, the or get promotion about the. The Mexican part I have in, in you know, in my heart, my feeling, and sure. everything. So, one final question: I think you are urgently needed in another part of the world, <laughs> and that's in Gaza right now, <laughs> and that wall between Israel. If they call you, will you go to Gaza? Yes, of course. <laughs> no, it's, I always say like, uh, 
I think we that's that's what like an artist uh, me or I, I tell you uh, is we try to do something for the for the, for the social for the culture for for our world and like uh, when I'm a fan of uh, an artist uh, like Bansky, Banksy like, sure. who provokes who who get involved with a lot of people use with use visual uh, side you know like nobody knows who is but uh, what he does create the emotion for a lot of people and of course if, if I had a chance if I need to go yeah, I will go of course I, I would like to paint that world too okay thank you very much thank you thank you